So back when I was married, my wife was jumping from job to job and it was during this period that she got a job working with the coroner in Stockton CA on call late nights. On a couple of her calls I went with her and fully expected to have an experience myself as I have since I was 6 YRS old nope. But she on the other hand is a different story. She received a call to pick up a guy who was unlucky enough to have fell off the back of a speedboat with two outboard motor. He got caught up in between the motors and had to be forcefully removed. Sad and dirty work to say the least, the crazy part was that his family was still there and all five of them were convinced that they saw the deceased at separate times standing in the crowd that had gathered to rubber neck. They even said they may have taken a picture of him calmly watching the emergency response team remove him. Although I never saw the pic. Another time a young lady was drunk and walking on some railroad tracks and got hit by the train. They had to walk the tracks for over a mile to clean the area and while this was happening my wife noticed a young woman walking along with the group but not picking up or marking gore to be picked up. She said she walked the entire time with them, my wife didn't say anything to anyone else for obvious reasons. But before they finished she called me and told me all about it. She even told me what the lady looked like. Red long hair, green eyes, and pale complex. Looking confused but aware of the situation. It wasn't till all was done that she overheard a family member of the girl telling authorities what happened. The young lady on the tracks walking along with emergency crews and the deceased were one in the same. And the last one, that I was there for but not immediately involved was following her in the van to drop off an elderly man who passed away of heart failure. So I'm right behind her in our car with our daughter and we pull into the driveway of the cooler and suddenly the van lurches forward and takes out the fence around the building. Out jumps my wife, pale, panicked and shaking. She had no idea what just happened. The accelerator stuck to the floor and wouldn't come up. Now she still had the guy to put in storage, so she cowgirls up and opened the doors, slid out the gurney and pushed it into the freezer. Most people that worked there stayed close to the door simply because of the creepy factor and my wife was no different. Only that night she was shoved completely into the middle of the freezer and when she went to open the door it was locked. Not just stuck but literally and visually locked. I had to unlock it from outside because it had no way to be unlocked from inside. She quit the very next day.